Hello, hello, hello. This is your message from the universe for 9 28 2020. This is the rune Uruz. Uruz is the rune for strength, manhood, womanhood, and it is the strength of new beginnings. It is the strength of terminations. We've spoken about this many times over the past month that when we look forward at the life that we want or at the life that we think the universe has for us, it often looks very different than the life that we have right now. And that means that the life we have right now has to change. The Seven of Cups talks about new opportunities, new ways of doing things, but this Death card reversed is talking about the resistance to new things, the resistance to change, the resistance to shifting where we are. The Seven of Cups also talks about illusion. And it talks about illusion in a way that things may look one way, but they are another. If we combine this Seven of Cups with the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Swords often talks about betrayal. It talks about the illusion of the way things look as opposed to the way things are. It talks about taking shortcuts. It talks about shiny thing syndrome, just like Seven of Cups does. And it, it really speaks to almost wanting to take a way around the hard stuff because you have to go through the hard stuff to get to the breakthrough, to get to the abundance, to get through the peace, the love. You have to go through the hard times. And uh, with this death card reversed, it, it is saying that you may be wanting to take a shortcut, wanting to go around something, like saying that you forgave someone but not actually forgive them, or uh, watching 10 minutes of the video that you need so you know how to set up your taxes but not actually watching the whole thing, and then just saying that it's finished, taking some kind of a shortcut in what you're doing. And of course, doing that you're going to be on a different path, but every path is where you're supposed to be. Having this strength reversed and the strength upright really talks about recognizing that this is all just an ongoing situation, that this is all just something where we need to have strength, but we can't force things to look the way they are because they're going to go the way we're going to go. If we look at this magician, we have this infinity on both of them showing the cycle. The magician is all about the fact that we are creating what is happening. We are manifesting what is happening. And it's a cycle between what the universe has for us and then the choices that we make to get to that. And we're going to make mistakes. And when we make a choice that may or may not be a mistake or that takes us off of the path or that takes us in a direction that isn't quite in towards what we want, the universe then responds by giving us something based on that choice. So it's this cycle of us choosing the universe having a plan, us choosing something either along the lines or off the lines of that plan, and then the universe responding to that choice with another another situation, which we then also make choices in. And I know it kind of sounds like a circular thinking, and, and if you think too deeply into it, it can definitely suck you down into uh, you know the rabbit hole beyond what is healthy, because even just overthinking can block what is happening. Recognize that every choice that you make does create a new outcome. And making those choices, though, is part of being human. If you look at any uh, billionaire or inventor's uh, you know, memoirs, they usually say that they learned more from their mistakes than they ever learned from their successes, and that every mistake took them closer to that success. And so we have to look at the paths that we walk in that same way, recognizing that we are the ones making the choices, not blaming the world, not blaming other people, not blaming the universe, but literally it is us making those choices and creating what the universe then brings us within a framework of where our soul, where the universe wants us to go and where we feel or see ourselves as that happily ever after space, which 
I mean, happily ever after, I don't really think that that's a thing, but I think there is a space where we can live in peace and contentment, still having these experiences as a human. It's not easy, but love yourself through it. This Queen of Cups is all about nurturing yourself, loving yourself, being that mothering, nurturing energy that you have always craved from your own mother or from the people around you. Be that for yourself. Love yourself because that is the ultimate goal of all of this. That is where we are able to integrate the divine with our everyday life. It is a roller coaster ride. It is a constant adventure, no matter how eventful or uneventful your life is, but that's the point of human life. To navigate this road with unconditional love of self and others, forgiveness of self and others, empathy for yourself and others as the forefront, and to integrate that energy into everything that you do in this world. You are beloved, you matter, you are loved.